Have you ever heard the expression, life is a journey? I believe it is. Life is a journey. In its journey of life, there are numbers of facts that influence how far you go, where you end up. Same as through for a Christian life. It says in 2 Timothy 4 verse 7, I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, and I have remained faithful. Reading between this line, it impacts to me that life is a journey. Yes, life as a Christian is a journey. Now, how do you know that you are on the right road? How do you know that you're heading in the right directions when it came to this journey as a Christian? It is not an easy question to answer, isn't it? But it says in Matthew 7, verse 22 to 23, it says, On judgment day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, we prophesied in your name and cast out demons in your name and perform many miracles in your name. But I will reply, I never knew you. Get away from me, you who breaks God's laws. This verse imparted in me that many people think that they are heading in the right directions, but they will be greatly mistaken. Many think that in a right road when in fact they couldn't be farther in the truth. So I ask you once again, how do you know that you are in the right directions concerning your relationship with Jesus Christ? Sad things is some of the people doesn't recognize the sign that tells them that they are heading in the wrong directions. Well, let me tell you, some of the sign look like when you are in your wrong path. One clear sign can be found in Romans 1 verse 24. It says there, Therefore, God gave them over in the sinful desires of their hearts to sexual impurity for degrading of their bodies with one another. So, be careful because when you find that you can freely sin with no conviction, no struggle, no remorse or guilt, then you are on a path that leads into eternal damnation. I will repeat again. Be careful because when you find that you can freely sin with no conviction, no struggles, no remorse or guilt, then you are on the path that leads into eternal damnation. Let me warn you. It says in Proverbs 8, Verse 20, I walk in the way of righteous, in the path of justice. So, now, if you walk in other way, that not in a righteous way, it's not in God's word, meaning you are in dangerous road. Be watchful. Any path that against the teaching of Jesus Christ is the wrong road. So make sure that the path you walk on is an alignment to the Word of God. To God be the glory. Have a blessed day, everyone.